okay, so this was um, a long process. So I had an inclination about uh, science, but not especially math. So when I was a child, at some moment I was just like in biology, in other moments physics, and but at some moment, at the, a month before the, taking the baccalaureate, uh, we were given an interesting math problem by the teacher, and I found a beautiful solution. And it was so much pleasure that I decided to to follow that path and, and try to do this in my career. Probably this was more or less clear from the moment I chose math as a study, but I didn't know that. So this developed quite uh, naturally. So I entered the degree and was uh, liking it a lot. And at some moment after the degree finished, I decided to study further for a PhD and almost without thinking I was working as a professional mathematician. Yeah, when I, when I was st still a child, I'm, yeah, mathematics was not my favorite subject and it's, it was not the subject in, in which I was the best. So I, I even failed mathematics once. So I was m much more inclined, as I said, by physics or other parts of, uh, of science until, until the very end. So my, my first beautiful memory in mathematics was solving that problem. That problem and, but then when I, when I was doing the degree, uh, everything was wonderful. Once I, I discovered that you can think yourself in mathematics and, and discover things on your own, uh, it was an amazing ex experience. So, uh, I work in uh, singularity theory. So, singularity theory is a very wide subject. Essentially, we look uh, at the situation when, uh, when systems and depends of parameter experience uh, uh, spe special be behaviors. So this can be this can happen in many parts of uh, of mathematics, and the part in which I am looking at is algebraic geometry. So I am I am a mix between algebraic geometer, topologist, and singularity singularity theorist. Uh, besides of what I explained about my research topic, also I, um, I can say a little bit about the research style. So in uh, there is some kind of dichotomy in, in mathematicians between uh, problem solvers and theory builders. I, I am perhaps a little bit more of the, of the first kind, although I, I also enjoy uh, to build some theor theory, but normally, normally in order to solve particular problems. appears here. But since this is a homologically trivial coverdice, its relative homology to respect, with respect to the exterior boundary is equal to zero. So this is the formulation of a homologically trivial coverdice. So this thing contributes to nothing, and then we find the multiplicity back. Okay, so this proves Sarisky question A in family, but as a bonus, I told, yeah, I told that this conjecture is true from the, for, the, for the multiplicity m, and then what you obtain, once you know that the multiplicity is the same, is that the flow homology of the Miller fiber of P0 is the flow homology of the Miller fiber for S different from zero, but this is the homology of the Milnor fiber of the projectivized tangent pole. And the same is here. So we can correct Sarisky question B. So the right formulation for Sarisky question B is that if, uh, if the uh, mu is constant, then the Milnor fiber of the uh, function 
that the project device tangent cone that, that, that of the initial function has to be have have to have the same homology. This was something that happened in this semester. We came with the ideas before, so there was a, a paper of McLean uh, some years ago, uh, ago that opened uh, a possibility for proving Sarisky multiplicity conjecture uh, using uh, fluor homology and a spectral sequence that he defined. And during this semester, we noticed that uh, we were ready to try to prove uh, the conjecture combining his uh, method with other tools that are now pervading singularity theory. So uh, in this conference we have seen many talks in which logarithmic geometry and other techniques uh, are being applied more and more and it was our case too. So we combined those techniques with uh, uh, McLean uh, developments and we managed to make a proof of Sarisky multiplicity conjecture. So that is a, a dream for, for us, so I would never expect to, to see the, the conjecture solved in my life. So, uh, right, right after my thesis, I was studying non-isolated singularities by their own sake. So, in fact, I, I have a lot to acknowledge to, to my, my master advisor, Dirk Siersma, that introduced me in that topic. And, um, yeah, and at some moment I noticed that I could create an example that has a, a special behavior. And so the example was so special that I thought this must be the counterexample to something. So that day I went to the, to the library in EHES, I was invited there, and, and I found a conjecture of Sarisky that I, I disproved without knowing it. probably is either the, the latest or the solution of NAS conjecture that happened in 2012. So that, um, that solution was also an Eureka after, after a long collaboration with, uh, with, with Maria Peck, that is the person with, who, with whom I, I solved the problem. So an uh, approach to me with the idea of, um, of applying. So at that moment I was hesitating whether I would wanted to, to live six months abroad, but mathematically it was very natural because we both were looking at uh, the same part of mathematics with different techniques. So we both work in one part of singularity theory that is Lipschitz geometry. So it, it didn't take me much time to to notice that it was a unique opportunity. And so I, I answered her yes. Then the, the pandemic came and I had a lot of time to prepare a, a good proposal. So that, that was my main occupation in the lockdown. Yeah, so singularity theory is a very mixed subject and it, uh, it takes ideas and gives methods to several parts of mathematics. So there is a continuous dialogue between singularity theory methods and the main developments in geometry, topology, and, and number, number theory. So the motivation for this semester was to, to try to screen in the new developments what are the most promising directions for singularity theory for that dialogue. So in the sense that we would like to borrow techniques from other fields, but we would like also to contribute to, to those developments. And, and this, this was the idea that has dominated the semester. So uh, because of this, we have treated a, a wide array of topics and we have had uh, um, events in, which are very varied, not, not very concentrated in topic. This semester does not have a leading event, so probably the, the, the conference that is wider in scope is the conference that we are having this week. But uh, the reason of the semester was to explore connections between singularity theory 
with, uh, with other topics. And, and because of this, each of the, of the events is quite special and is uh, on a different direction. So we had a research, um, research school in the generations. We had a workshop in elliptic geometry, uh, also research in person elliptic geometry. That this is one of the events where the main connections between the Bilbao and the Marseille Singularity Group were created. And also we had a, a research in PERS uh, in contact loci and, uh, and flow air theory, which is very much connected with the, with the talk that I gave in, in CIRM anniversary. So finally, the conference was uh, supposed to gather uh, mathematicians from singularity theory and nearby topics and to be as wide as possible. So I, I couldn't say that each, that there is one event that is more important than the others, but all of them have, have played their, an important role in the, in the objective of the semester. We had a program of invitations and we were so lucky to have a group of stable people being here. So uh, at least uh, two, three postdocs from Bilbao, students, local students from from Marseille and also Duke of Anestraten spent uh, a lot of months uh, with us besides some one month invitations. I, I think uh, it will be pretty much like before. I, I, I hope to, to keep thinking in mathematics and studying problems that I like. So um, now with the connection to Marseille, so the, the chair has been very successful for me in starting new collaborations and, and creating a lot of synergy with the group in Marseille. So I think I will be around often. And yeah, in my plans, there is a lot of cooperations with the Singularities group here. I will be involved in, the, in another semester in, in 2023 in, in Budapest with my colleague uh, Andras Nemeti and other colleagues from low dimensional topology. And we, we expect to get deep, deeper into the connections between low dimensional topology, flow air theory, and singularity theory, which is very much related with uh, uh, the methods we used for the solution of Sarisky conjecture. Yeah, CIRM is a unique place for research. So this is something I, I noticed shortly after coming here. So I, I got concentrated immediately. So moreover, moreover I was living at the Yemorle uh, house. So I was living here in campus. So and this gave me really a lot, a lot of time to think uh, in mathematical problems. Also we have the library to which uh, uh, we can access at any time of the day. And and you, I use that a lot. So for some reason, and also because of the, the public events, but not only that, also the atmosphere that you have here, it has been very special and, and, and I have uh, put my, my mathematics much, much forward. It is a very special place uh, for doing mathematics. Uh, there are a few places like this in the world and and a mathematician immediately, immediately feels this. So this is uh, EHES, CIRM, and Oberbolfag too. There are, there are a few places of the world in which uh, you immediately concentrate and, and your pro productivity increases. <laughs>